Hey up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at Jack's Fiesta ST200. I've never actually been in an ST200 before or an ST with that in mind. So we'll have a look at the car, we'll go out for a drive, we're going to talk to Jack about what he thinks about it. He's got an interesting story he used to own a Mark III Focus RS, so I want to find out a little bit more about that. But let's have a look at the car. So we're in the car with Jack, we've got the Fiesta ST200, it's a 2016 model isn't it? Yeah, 66 plate, yeah. Brilliant, so what, what have you actually had done to the car then Jack? So I've had a Miltec cat back put on, it's a sport Miltec race one, um, it's got a Voodoo decat in it, it's got the Stage 2 Pro software, Airtex Stage 3 cooler, um, an ITG crossover with a primary hose and then a Peron intake, so yeah, a couple of bits to be fair, oh, brilliant. quite a few bits. With regards to the mapping, you, you've obviously got the Peron Stage 2 Pro, oh, is yeah, it? Yeah. Um, how have you found that just having it on? You've just recently had it on. Uh, it? Yeah, it's, it's good. I've had a, a few Peron tunes before. They're quite aggressive bottom end. A lot of torque comes in quite quick. Um, I like it that way. Um, it's good. Really good. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Happy with it, yeah? Yeah, yeah really What did it make it. on the roll? We've got the, we've got the dyno graph here, haven't so we? So it did 212 at wheels. So rounding it up a bit because it did 211.8. But yeah, it's, it's, it's done well. Really consistent, nice, even even spread across graph. Um, torque comes in well, holds well, and then obviously feathers off. It's really good, it's done well, I'm happy with it. I'm gonna go out for a bit of a drive. I've never actually even sat in a Fiesta ST, never mind me driven around in one. So it'd be interesting to find out what it's like, how it feels with the stage two on there. Um, I know they're relatively light cars with good handling, so it'd be interesting to see what goes on. Uh, but we'll go out for a drive now. So as you saw from the video, we just did around the car, having a look around. Um, you've actually got the Voodoo worn split kit on there, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. It looks really good. I mean, I know there's TRC, I know there's Maxton and things like that, but the, the Voodoo kit really sets it off quite nicely, especially with the paint that you get with the ST200. Um, first time I've been in ST, as I mentioned, and having a look around and seeing the different badging and stuff like that just makes this car a little bit more special than the normal Fiesta ST. They're, they're a popular car, obviously, for good reason. Um, they're very, very good, they're very light, they've got a good power to weight ratio, especially when you start tuning them. And there's, there's, there's some running 330, 340s, yeah, the yeah. turbos. I mean, Nick, Nick supplies an our kit with a VTR turbo, VT330, sorry, turbo on. I mean, some of them lads are going there pushing 310 wheel, 300, 298. It just depends on our car, you know, how healthy the engine is, things like that, um, how it reacts to certain things. They're all different, which is surprising because they're all the same, but they're yeah. all different. It's the thing that I found with Ford's, as I mentioned, you guys might know that I had uh, a Mark II Focus ST before, um, and you could have two cars with exactly the same modifications, but two different power levels, two different levels of torque. Um, I'm not sure why, I think the health of these engines plays a big part of it. Yeah, it's, um, it's down to us looking after them, your fuel, everything. I mean, like you've done in your previous video, Josh, 99 is a massive key to these direct injection engines. They're known for, they're obviously gumming up with too much oil around valves and stuff like that, so catch cans are a big thing with these engines, which I'm on order with. Um, just, yeah, major ones fuel, and I've had that stress to me a lot from being 17 old in my first car, 99 is the, is the, is the fuel to use. It's, it's, it's major, it's major. So you, you actually had a Fox RS before this, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, I had a Nitro Blue one, yeah. Nitro Blue Fox RS. So what do you prefer? Because the, the, the Fox RS is a great car, we all know it to be. Um, I know it's had its issues with reliability and whatnot, but what are the key differences that you found between the ST and the Fox RS? So the Fox RS, obviously the main one is, a, is, is the four-wheel drive. That's a major 
um, bonus for that. I loved it. The, the drive modes were brilliant. The adaptive suspension, where you obviously put it in a, a different mode, it hardened up, softened up. It knew what you were doing. It, it were very clever, but for the fun factor, uh, like B road, you know, going around B roads and things like that, the Fiesta hands down. I, I, I prefer it. Everyone was a different. For me, this is a better car. Um, I do miss my RS in some respects, I miss the valve the exhaust, you used to get that nice pop and bang, but with the Stage 2 Pro software you get that anyway on downshift, so yeah. do I really miss it that much? Nah, probably not. I would have another one, but I wouldn't have one anytime soon, just because of the fact I enjoy this Fiesta that much. I like getting my hands mucky with it, yeah, I can build it myself. The, the RS were a sod to put exhaust on, that's what it was yeah. for it, an absolute sod. Is that you have to drop the axle, don't you? Uh, no, I had to cut it. It's all one piece. To be fair, Fiesta's the same, but the Fiesta's easier to get at. We're obviously having four-wheel drive and big rear diff. It's quite hard to get around. I had to get cut in there. And I, I, no, it was just a nightmare. <laughs> this is this is a lot more me. I can get my hands on it. I can, you know, I've done all crossover and everything myself, put it all together. The only thing I can't do is software, which I'm never going to touch. <laughs> I'm not that confident, but yeah, it's, it's good. I prefer this. So, so you've had Ford for quite a long time yeah, now, haven't you? You started with Ford, the Black yeah. Edition, was it? The one the Fiesta? Black, yeah, one the Fiesta Black Edition. That was my first. To be fair, I've had, had a Mark 6 SD, uh, sorry, Mark 6 diesel Fiesta, and then I've had, I bought a brand new, nine miles on it, I loved it, Black Edition Fiesta. Uh, unfortunately, that gearbox let go in that, which is a common fault with it just, I, I would, Coming on from work, went to third, went to fourth, and just literally clutch went to fourth with nothing. Oh, really? Stuck in fourth gear, got it back to Ford, warranted it, and they just said they showed me a photo of a gearbox and basically it was just a pile of bits in the bottom of a box, it was just knackered. Um, I've had obviously Focus ST Mark III, love that, that had a stage two setting on it, that ran 300 wheel, a really aggressive car. Then I've had RS, didn't have that for that long, liked it. Enjoyed it, went to shows with some of the lads, who, with Jack and Luke and everybody. Um, had a lot of time with them at shows with it, and it was nice, but it's not. I were always on back and show like Jack and Luke would play, and if you, even though I'd got that power, four wheel drive loss was just nowhere near as quick as what they were, and it was just like I paid all that money for, you know what I mean, for some of that weren't really that exciting. exciting. It was good, it was a brilliant car, but I prefer this. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is more the fun car for me. I, I do prefer my Fiesta. I've always had Fords. This is just the amount of things you can do to these as well, power wise. I know everyone's pushing big numbers now out of these compared to what they were, say, a year and a half ago, or probably even a bit more. They've developed quite a lot and they're still developing it, even though Mark 8's are. There's quite a lot you can still do to these. They're just a good all round car for what you pay for. I mean, I've paid a bit more for ST with reverse camera and stuff like that. Whoever had this before me, Spectacle, quite a lot. Uh, but I think a lot of it does come standard with ST200, but it's, it's just a, just an all-round better car for me. What is this like to drive then with the stage two? With the obviously, the, have you had low inch swings on it? No, it's just it's standard suspension. Obviously, I'm jet, I'm going to upgrade brakes. I'm going to go for the, the newer turbo as well, the bigger turbo, not the side I'm going to go for yet. Uh, the stage two Pro software is quite aggressive in my opinion. Bottom end, it comes on torque quite a lot, quite quick compared to say I've had other tunes in the past that have been more feathered in, if that makes sense, and yeah. comes in a bit comes in a bit more gradual. I don't mind, I like, to be fair, I like the aggression on it. Um, it's, it's good, I like it, yeah, it's good. Brilliant, you mentioned there you're going for the turbo, so what we're actually going to be doing is, later on this year, cause obviously you, have you booked it now? Or? I'm, I'm going to book it this week, gonna believe book it or not, week. for September, yeah. So, so we're going to be going along, um, we're going to be filming the process of the stage three, so we'll have a look at the map and we'll have a look at the dyno. Um, we're on some B roads now, so we'll see if we can get a bit of space, because although it's Sunday morning, it's yeah, a little it's bit busy, isn't it? Busy. Um, there's quite a lot of walkers, there's quite a lot of joggers and cyclists as well, so let's see what the Fiesta SD feels like. Yeah. 
this, yeah. this one's a bit. So yeah, you, I like it. I don't like it. We had, we had a chat before about the D cell and the difference between the D cell and what you've got. Yeah. So this is a little less aggressive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Some of you guys know you can see the Fiesta SDs and the popping all the time. So you see it shows you the Mont Limiter and all the time, and you always you carry it back on the bank. Right, that's not me. That. <laughs> that's that's not a pack up a team, but everyone to their own. I prefer like you can do now with this software. You can downshift and you get that two little light or three burbles. Yeah. It's nice. That's just enough for me. I'm a bit, you know, a bit of a sleeper type fan. See what I mean? Difference. Yeah. And it's still a little hesitation, but it's good. The trash control has always held forward back. It's quite it's a strong one, isn't it? Yeah. It, it, it does hold it quite a lot, to be honest. 